In our industry, white plastisol has quite a few jobs to do. Often the first, if not the only ink printed, white ink has the burden of matting down shirt fibers, providing opacity, fighting dye migration, and backing most of the other colors in your design. On top of all this, we still want the ink to be as soft as it can possibly be. Many successful prints hinge on our white ink doing its job and doing it well. With so much responsibility riding on your selection, it can be difficult to determine which white ink is the best choice for your shop. The sad truth is, with so many different substrates being printed these days, one white ink cannot be optimized to be best for every fabric that makes its way to your press. This video aims to clear the confusion and give you some direction when facing these choices. Let's begin with 100% cotton shirts. Cotton shirts have been the bread and butter of our industry for a long time. As such, a plastisol designed specifically for this fabric should be part of almost every production floor. Inks such as Rutland's Street Fighter Cotton White are some of the creamiest inks available, offering superb fiber mat down. Although cotton white ink can suffer from dye migration if printed onto fabrics containing polyester, the volume of 100% cotton shirts running through a shop is usually more than enough to justify a dedicated ink. Cotton whites lay down very smooth with a soft matte finish. With fast flash characteristics and low tack, cotton white inks achieve the highest possible production speeds. What may be the most important reason of all to many shop owners is that products like Rutland Street Fighter Cotton White are the lowest cost white inks available. Also known as 50-50, poly cotton blends comprise a large part of the market. Because the fabric contains some polyester, steps must be taken to prevent dye migration. Dye migration, or bleeding, occurs when the polyester dyes release from the polyester fibers and are absorbed as a gas by the plasticizer in the ink. Rutland Snap White has become an industry favorite for its ability to block these dyes while retaining a soft hand, similar to a cotton white ink. It's known as a general purpose white. The dye blocking technology is strong enough for most uses. Although products such as Snap White are often used on 100% cotton in some shops, ghosting can occur. Ghosting is a rare but costly issue that occurs when the technology that fights dye migration can discolor certain cotton dyes. Although this doesn't happen often, it's prevalent mostly in light-colored cotton shirts in times of high humidity. Rutland's newest product, Tidy White, is a non-ghosting white with unique printing characteristics and slightly reduced dye blockers. So keep in mind that while they are the most widely used, general purpose inks are only part of the solution. Polyester is the fabric that causes printers the most headaches. Because of the way heat is used to set the dyes in polyester, heat can also cause the dyes to release. Also known as sublimating, the dye becomes a gas that is absorbed by plastisol ink. Dye migration is often visible at the end of the dryer, but the full effect can sometimes take days or weeks to become apparent. Rutland has engineered Super Poly White to combat this with the strongest possible dye blocking technology. Excess heat increases the likelihood of bleeding, so keep a close eye on your dryers. Testing should be done of all new fabrics to ensure stability of the polyester dyes. Visit rutlandinc.com for complete information on dye migration. Polyester white inks are thicker than cotton and general purpose inks due to the dye blocking technology they possess. Adding any kind of reducer to these inks will often eliminate their ability to stop dye migration. In spite of such powerful dye blocking technology, there may be fabrics that require greater strength than Rutland Super Poly White can provide on its own. Severe bleeding may require ES0266 non-phthalate barrier base to be printed first. Nylon jerseys see more abuse than most garments and therefore require a very durable print. Rutland designed EN9474 Nylon Mesh White for extreme durability and adhesion with a glossy finish. Keep in mind that nylon inks offer no bleed resistance. 
Polyester mesh jerseys require Rutland Super Poly White. Extremely stretchy fabrics used in leotards and wrestling uniforms are often a nylon lycra blend. These fabrics require the elasticity of Rutland Spandisol White. Spandisol White can also be added to other whites to improve stretch. There are new fabrics coming to market every season. Testing will be necessary whenever you're presented with something that you haven't printed before. Tri-blends are usually a combination of cotton, polyester, and rayon. The nap of the fabric makes it feel very soft, but it's not a very smooth surface to print on. A smoothing screen is often used after the flash with a general purpose ink like Snap White or Tidy White. And if dye migration is not a problem, Rutland Chino White can give the softest possible print but with a diminished opacity. In a perfect world, a single Plastisol White would be the best solution for every garment. Until that day comes, you will find that matching each job to the proper ink will provide the highest quality, the highest production speeds, and the highest possible profit margin.